वेलकम स्टूडेंट टू द अल्टीमेट बायोलॉजी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एम्ब्रियो इन केस ऑफ एंजियोस्पर्मिक प्लांट हाउ दिज एम्ब्रियो गेट डेवलप इन द एम्ब्रियो सैक वी विल सी डिटेल्स द ऑल स्टेजेस ऑफ एम्ब्रियो डेवलपमेंट we call it as a embryogeny or we call it as a embryogenesis embryogeny or embryogenesis means formation of embryo from zygote by mitosis cell division we call it as embryogenesis or we call it as embryogeny on this board we will see the details how the embryo formation takes place in case of monocot as well as in case of a dicot plant monocot plants or monocot seed maize bajra jowar in case of these a monocot seed how the embryo formation takes place and in case of a dicot seed for example p pisum sativum second gram next groundnut arachis hypogea like this so many examples are there of dicot in which monocot as well as dicot how the embryo formation takes place we will see details now in case of monocot seed and in case of a dicot seed the early stages of embryo formation is the same from these a zygote up to this one globular embryo stage all these stages number 1 a b c d and these e up to these all these are mitosis stages up to these all embryonic stages which takes place here are common in case of monocot as well as the dicot seed so see here how the embryo formation takes place in case of monocots and dicot in detail we know that uh, this structure is a structure of ovule and in this ovule there is a sac which is there that sac we call it as a embryo sac because in this embryo sac embryo formation takes place after fertilization now this is a cell this one after fertilization get a transform into zygote and this is zygote is a diploid in nature and zygote is always present towards the micropylar end opposite to the micropylar end this end we call it as a chalazal end and towards the chalazal end here this is a one big cell which is a present that big cell we call it as this one known as a primary endosperm cell in which there is a nucleus which is present this is a nucleus we call it as a primary endosperm nucleus which is a formed by fertilization so this one is the pen this one primary endosperm nucleus now this is a primary primary endosperm nucleus divide first and this is a nucleus a divide into two nucleus like this and here formation of this endosperm in earlier video we have seen in detail since that this endosperm formation from primary endosperm nucleus in case of angiospermic plant monocot as well as dicot takes place by three process one we is the nuclear endosperm formation process second one cellular endosperm formation process and third one that is the helobial endosperm formation process so from these uh, these are uh, primary endosperm nucleus endosperm formation takes place this is a nucleus divided into two nucleus like this 
and when there is a nucleus divided into two nucleus in the cytoplasm reserve food material get increase and as soon as the cell wall formation takes place or if it is a free nuclear division cell wall do, cell wall do not form there but uh, as soon as this is a primary endosperm nucleus divided into two nucleus means plant ensure this is one type of adaptation this is an adaptation to provide assured nutrition to the developing embryo by this primary endosperm nucleus as soon as this primary endosperm nucleus divided into two nucleus here endosperm get formed and as soon as the endosperm this a nutritive tissue get a form in the embryo in this embryo sac here this a embryo uh, sorry this is a zygote this is zygote assured the nutrition and after that after this endosperm cell formation takes place after that now this is zygote which is there which is a diploid in nature this is zygote divide the zygote nucleus is divided into two nucleus like this one nucleus and two nucleus and here cell wall formation takes place in this zygote that a cell wall formation is a transverse cell wall formation due to which two unequal due to which these are two unequal cell formation takes place in this embryo sac one cell which is facing towards the micropylar end that cell is a large basal cell larger in size and the cell which is facing towards this one chalicel end that cell is a smaller in size this one that cell we call it as a apical cell same type of that cell formation takes place here in case of endosperm in case of the helubial type of endosperm formation now when these are two cell form here in the zygote zygote divided into two cell structure one cell bigger cell towards the micropylar end and second cell that is a smaller cell which is present towards the chalicel end the bigger cell which is facing towards the micropylar end that cell we call it as a large basal cell or we call it as a suspensor cell because from these from this cell suspensor formation takes place at a time of this embryonic development and the second cell this one this cell we call it as a apical cell or this cell also we call it as a embryonal cell because from this cell embryo formation takes place in the future in the coming events now this is zygote after that this is zygote has a capacity to produce to secrete a cellulosic wall surround itself and it, when it forms a cellulosic wall surround the zygote now this is a structure we call it as a oospore now this is a structure we call it as what oospore and this oospore gain nutrition from this tissue that a tissue we call it as a, this one we call it as a endosperm or endospermic that a cell or that endospermic cell divided and redivided forms endospermic like this a tissue now see here now here this a embryo this a embryo is only one cell structure one embryo cell this one is formed here one is the embryonal cell and second one that cell we call it as a large basal or we call it as a suspensor cell means now embryo is of only one cell structure no doubt this is zygote is of two cell structure but a embryo is of only one cell structure like this now this embryo embryonal cell which is there this one this cell in this b stage second stage this is embryonal cell divide like this vertically it a divide vertically or we call it as a longitudinally and one cell divide into two cell this one one cell and this one is the two cell now the stage we call it as a two cell embryo stage this a embryonal cell divide into like this a two cell and the stage we call it as a two cell embryo embryo stage and 
there is a lower cell which is there that lower cell we call it as a large basal cell or suspensor cell this is a large basal or suspensor cell divide transversely transverse division takes place like this transversely and two cell formation takes place the cell which is facing towards the micropyle that cell we call it as a vesicular basal cell or this cell also known as a hostorial cell and the cell which is facing towards the chalazal end this one this is a cell known as a suspensor cell from which in the future suspensor formation takes place from this cell and these are the two embryonal cell in this sac that sac we call it as a embryo sac it is this stage is a two cell embryo stage and this is a structure we call it as a 1 2 3 4 known as a tetrad known as what tetrad tetrad means a four like this now in a c stage c here in the this this a c event after this a b after this a two cell embryo stage next year which event takes place we will see now this a embryonal cell which is there this is a cell this embryonal cell again divide vertically or longitudinally this is a cell divide into four cell 1 2 3 4 cell by again like this a vertical division or we call it as a longitudinal division division and this embryonal cell they arrange 1 2 3 4 like this and this embryonal cell which are in four number like this 1 2 3 4 now this is a four embryo cell this is stale we this is a stage we call it as a quadrant this one quadrant means a four 1 2 3 4 4 four quadrant embryo embryonic stage cell stage that is this embryonic embryonal cell this one these are two cell divided into like this 1 2 3 4 again one division takes place here and four cell formation takes place by vertical or longitudinal division and this embryonal cell forms 1 2 3 4 cell due to which quadrant stage or four embryo four embryo cell stage and this is a suspensor cell this one again it divide mitotically here and forms like this a two cell and this is a vesicular cell or basal cell which is there it remain as it is here like this now see after that after this a quadrant stage what happened this a embryonal cell 1 2 3 4 cells in this a cell transverse division takes place like this a this a four cell they divide transversely means they divide like this a transversely this a four cell divide transversely and now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 2 <laughs> <laughs> two series of like this a cell formation takes place here now this embryo consist of eight embryo cell and we call it as a octant octant octa means eight octant stage and here this is a suspensor cell which is there that suspensor cell here divide mitotically and forms 1 2 3 4 this is a two divide mitotically and forms 1 2 3 4 like this is a suspensor cell and this cell remain as it is we call it as a vesicular or hostorial cell which is a big in size which get attached to this a sac that a sac we call it as a embryo sac this is a sac we call it as embryo sac embryo sac and this embryo sac present here in, inside this ovule and this ovule surround by this ovary wall like this now after this octant stage see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this one embryo embryonal cells formation takes place eight means octant stage and when it divide in divide transversely two like these uh, cell two cells two uh, means four facing towards the chalazal end and four facing towards the micropylar end differentiate into these are uh, upper epibasal cell and lower hypobasal cell and this is a series of cell we call it as a suspensor now after this octant stage next stage that is the e next stage we call it as a globular embryo stage means these octant these eight cell 
ट्रांसफॉर्म हियर बाय माइटोटिक सेल डिविजन एंड हियर माइटोटिक सेल डिविजन टेक्स प्लेस एंड ड्यू टू माइटोटिक सेल डिविजन दिस एट सेल नाउ फॉर्म्स सिक्सटीन सेल स्टेज एंड दिस एम्ब्रियो इज लाइक दिस राउंडेड ग्लोब्यूलर ड्यू टू इट इट इज नोन एज अ ग्लोब्यूलर एम्ब्रियो स्टेज एंड हियर डिविजन ऑफ दिस सेल इन दिस एट सेल दिस एट सेल डिवाइड पेरी क्लीनली लाइक दिस एंड ड्यू टू विच वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सेल दे आर प्रेजेंट टूवर्ड्स द पेरीफेरी एंड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सेल दे आर प्रेजेंट इन द सेंटर द सेल विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द सेंटर दिस वन फॉर्म ए मास we call it as a inner ground meristem and the cell which is present towards the periphery in this a globular structure by periclinal division this is a eight cell periclinal cell this is a eight cell which is present towards the periphery this is a eight cell we call it as a protodermal cell these all cells which are present towards the periphery known as a protodermal cell and from this a protodermal cell in future epidermis formation takes place in case of what that embryo and the cell which is present here in the center that mass of that cell we call it as eight cell we call it as inner ground meristem cells meristematic cells means in the future they divide and redivide because they are the meristematic tissue and transform into heart shape embryo this one this say then these a long these a structure we call it as a suspensor here four cells are there these a four cell divide mitotically and forms eight cells like this and it forms eight cell like this a suspensor in some cases suspensor is of a seven cell structure in some cases it is of eight cell structure and in some cases it is of a ten cell structure like this the main function of this suspensor is to push this a globular embryo inside the cytoplasm of this a big cell which is present here big cell which is present here in this embryo sac or this a suspensor push this a developing embryo inside the endosperm to gain more endosperm in the subsequent we call it as a embryo development stages so this a we call it as a suspensor is of like this a seven cell eight cell like this a nine cell or ten cell according to that a species and one cell which is attached to this embryo sac that cell we call it as a host hostorial cell or we call it as a vesicular cell it remain as it is it fix this a suspensor and now this a due to the help of this hostorial the or hostorial cell or vesicular cell and this a suspensor series of this a suspensor this a cell the glo globular embryo get the push inside the what inside the endosperm and this a globular endosperm gain this endosperm gain this energy from the surroundings like this now the one cell which get attached to this globular endosperm of this the suspensor that cell this one the, the cell beneath this globular embryo this one this cell we call it as a hypophysis and this a hypophysis get convert into root apical meristem means from this a hypophysis cell root apical meristem formation takes place in future now this is a globular embryo stage is of a 16 cell stage structure this is a eight this one four and four eight cell structure transform into 16 cell stage structure we call it as a globular embryo stage that is a 16 cell stage embryo structure now this is a globular embryo stage get transform into next stage known as a heart shape stage 
means these structure gain the nutrition from the surrounding and it get transformed into like these structure that structure we call it as a heart shaped structure due to which this embryo we call it as a heart shaped stage structure embryo heart shaped embryo now this heart shaped embryo it consists of this inner cell mass which is a meristematic in nature and this a meristematic tissue which is present here in in this portion this a meristematic tissue divide and redivide divide and redivide by mitosis cell division and undergoes in cell differentiation due to which three layer formation takes place one layer which is outermost known as dermatogen which get transform into skin or dermis derma dermis means skin or outer covering of that embryo second layer we call it as a periblame and is a periblame layer transform into cortex of that embryo and third we call it as a pleurome it get a transform into vascular bundle tissue in case of these are developing embryo so like these are three germinal layer in case of these embryo formation takes place from these meristematic tissue which get a transform into this heart shape embryo at that time this meristematic tissue differentiated into dermatogen periblame and pleurome dermatogen in future transform into outer covering skin or periblame get transform transform into cortex and pleurome get a transform into the vascular bundle tissue xylem phloem like this which conduct water as well as a food material in the developing embryo and there is a suspensor cell which is present here now when the embryo get a transform into heart shape like this here the size of this embryo get a increase and the nutritive material which is present in the endosperm get utilized by this embryo in case of dicot in case of dicot in case of monocot this endosperm it remain as it is we will see in the last stage in this stage hard shape of stage the suspensor get reduce why suspensor get reduce contains because these globular embryo get a transform into like this a hard shape embryo by gaining the excess food material which is present here in the endosperm due to which the size of this embryo get increase and it take more space here in the embryo sac due to which this is a suspensor it get reduce or it get condense like this now this heart shape cell this one embryo now transform into torpedo torpedo stage torpedo is the name of a fish and that fish when it move in water it move like this it move in one plane like this it move is a his a tail like this and it move forward 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 like this in the that a sea water means this a moment means this a forward moment we call it as a torpedo moments now why the name is given after this heart shape stage a torpedo stage takes place here means these are two these are two portion which is there this one heart shape embryo of this this one portion this a portion now in next stage get a transform into cotyledon bija patra this a this a structure they they increase continuously by mitosis cell division like this and this moment we call it as a torpedo moment and these are two heart these are two structure which transform into like this slowly 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 transform into like this a big two quarter down that moment we call it as a torpedo moment or that stage we call it as a torpedo stage which is, which takes place here which takes place here and which takes place here also and the tissue the meristematic tissue which is present here that meristematic tissue get a transform in next stage when the when the embryo becomes a mature at that time the meristematic tissue which is present here that meristematic tissue get transform into this structure we call it as ep ep cotyle and this structure get a transform in future in a shoot tip plant shoot tip like this transform into that shoot stem leaf and branches when we sow that seed 
so this one is the epicotyl shoot tip and this is a structure we call it as a primule and from this a primule shoot formation takes place in case of what that plant and towards the micropylar end here hypocotyl is present this one hypocotyl tissues are present and here that uh, meristematic tissue which is there that meristematic tissue get transformed into this uh, radical we call it as a root tip means uh, one axis formation takes place here in this uh, portion that uh, axis we call it as a embryo axis this one is the embryo axis consist of plumule consist of what radical plumule surrounds with the tissue we call it as epicotyl epi means uh, above cotyl means a cotyledon these are two structure get a transform into cotyledon this one is the one cotyledon and this one is the second cotyledon in case of dicot plant two cotyledon formation takes place like this by this a torpedo this a process by this a torpedo like this a growth and when two cotyledon get completely formed here the meristematic tissue which is present here they transform into shoot this we call it as a plumule this is a structure we call it as a plumule surrounds with the epicotyl epi means above and this is the cotyl means a cotyledon these are the cotyledon the cot from the these are this one one cotyledon start from here and this one is the second cotyledon start from here and this structure is above the cotyledon due to which we call it as a epi epi means above and cotyl means cotyledon above the cotyledon this structure is present due to which we call it as a epicotyledon and this structure we call it as a hypocotyledon hypo means below means below this a cotyledon this structure is present due to which we call it as a hypocotyledon in case of a dicot seed now see here like this this a hard shape embryo get a transform into like this structure like this a mature embryo or we call it as a horse shoe shaped embryo in which like this a two cotyledons are fully developed in between two cotyledon this axis is present that axis we call it as a embryo axis consist of a plumule surrounds with the tissue known as epicotyl and it consist of a radical which is surrounds with the tissue we call it as hypocotyl and suspensor again becomes reduced and in some cases it get dissolved it get separate like this and complete embryo formation takes place in case of what that dicot seed now now how now how the dicot now how the dicot embryo formation takes place and how the monocot embryo formation takes place we will see here here the dicot embryo get formed by this process no doubt this is a heart shape stage which is there that heart shape stage embryo get transformed into like these are two like these are two this is a heart shape these are two portion get transformed into like these are two cotyledon in case of a dicot embryo we call it as a mature embryo we call it as a horseshoe shape embryo if you see the dicot embryo in case of dicot see here what happened in case of dicot this one is the plumule this one is the embryo axis like this and from here one cotyledon get developed and from here another cotyledon get developed like this so this one is the plumule this one plumule this one is the radical this one is the radical that is a, we call it as a root tip and these are the two cotyledon in case of what dicot seed in case of dicot embryo in case of p that is a pisum sativum but in case of monocot in case of monocot like this a seed is there and in case of monocot here this one is the plumule and this one is the radical and is a plumule get uh, surrounds by this uh, leaf like structure this one and this a structure we call it as this one the, this one we call it as a plumule and this one we call it as a radical and this is the axis we call it as a embryo axis plumule plumule surrounds by 
polyoptile. Plumule surrounds by polyoptile. And these are radical surrounds by coleoriza. Surrounds by what? Coleoriza. Coleoriza, like this. And this one is the embryo axis. And on this, this one, on this embryo, here in case of this maze, these tissues are present in which endosperm is present. This seed we call it as endospermic. Endospermic seed because in case of monocot, endosperm remain as it is or it persists as it is and here only embryo axis or that embryo is present in case of monocot, in case of jawar, in case of bajra, in case of maize, in case of grass like this. But in case of a dicot, this endosperm which is there will get completely utilized, completely utilized for the development of these embryo due to which in the dicot endosperm is totally absent due to which we call it as what non endospermic seed and this seed we call it as what endospermic seed and here endosperm get totally utilized for the formation of these two cotyledon down like this and this is the embryo axis this one is the embryo axis and lastly like this is a complete embryo formation takes place in case of matter this is a complete seed is nothing but what a complete embryo covered with a seed coat that seed coat we call it as a testa and here this structure this is micropyle is present and inside the two cotyledon along with the embryo axis we call it as what that is a complete dicot embryo so this is all about the details of what that uh, uh, dicot as well as what monocot embryo dear student if you like my video then share my video to the needy students who are preparing for the NEET exam or for the another exams, competitive, uh, competitive exam. Comment on my video and subscribe my channel Ultimate Biology. Thank you.